the day I realized I was destined to be an entrepreneur. See, I had my first and only job at 15. It was literally handed to me. I didn't fill out a resume. I didn't interview. See, the owner of a beauty supply store that my mom and I would frequent, Mrs. Na, asked me one day as she was ringing me up if I had a job. I didn't. <laughs> at 15, Chad, look, I was just having fun in high school on the Palm Squad, just living my best teenage life, Chad. <laughs> But I was turning 16 soon and I already had a car I would be driving thanks to my uncle just giving me one. <laughs> now, I was also being given a job. See, the Lord was showing me very early on how effortless life can be because he supplies. Anyway, she had me come in a few days later to simply discuss the schedule. And then the next thing I know, bam, I got a job. <laughs> Now this job was tons of fun and I didn't even have to do much. I said hello to people, asked if they needed help, like especially those husbands trying to find their wives some VO5 or some Blue Magic or some Majora, looking lost as all get out. <laughs> I would also style and cut wigs, which I loved because by then I was super into hair and makeup and already considering becoming a hairstylist. The women I worked with were also fun. It was like being in a cross between designing women and golden girls because these older ladies were hilarious, okay? It was Mrs. Na, of course, um, and sometimes her husband would fill in for her, but that was very rare. Anyway, they both were very funny and also very kind to me. There was also Mrs. Kim. She seemed pretty quiet at first, but child, let her crack a joke. And then that was a wrap because the jokes kept coming. <laughs> then there was Miss Louise. Oh my goodness, that lady had me in stitches too. She was an older black lady who was really nice, but she would also tell it like it is and had no problem putting people in their place, okay? She worked the wig station and she would teach me some really cool stuff about wigs. So like I said, I got paid to do not very much, but I did have fun. <laughs> and even still, even with that, there were so many things about having a job that I just didn't like. I hated being there when I could have been elsewhere, being productive at something, or just watch a TV <laughs> because it got super boring on the slow days. Something else, the paycheck. For a teenager, the pay was pretty good, but waiting to be paid once a week seemed like forever for teenage me. <laughs> I kept thinking how cool it would be to earn some cash every day or any time that I wanted to. Also, there was the lack of control. There would be some Saturdays that all I wanted to do was sleep in or hang out with some friends, but I had to work. And I really did not like that feeling. But you know what? People kept saying to me, oh, well, suck it up. That's life. But I kept thinking, but what if it isn't? What if life didn't have to be that way? What if I didn't have to function on a schedule that someone else created for me and that I then had to work my life around? What if I could work my schedule around my life instead? And then I thought back to just a few years prior. I was 12 and my friends and I were big on books like Sweet Valley Twin books, R.L. Stein's Fear Street novels, and definitely The Babysitter's Club. So much so that I thought up one day, hey, we could start our own babysitter's club. So I did. <laughs> I had a name for it. I made flyers on our new computer and printed them out on our on our printer. And see, Chad, that was a big deal in 1992, okay? Because, um, you know, not a lot of folks had a computer, but we had one because my mom worked at home. And then shortly after, my dad built me and my brother a computer and then took us to good old Comp USA to let us pick out some educational yet fun games. I loved Carmen San Diego, both where in the world and where in the USA. Mm -hmm. And we got some other games like Spellicopter. Does anybody know these games I'm talking about or these books? If so, pop it in the chat. Let me know if you have or haven't, okay? Anyway, I digress. Let me get back on the topic. <laughs> the point is I made flyers. And then I structured our business operations and I even had my mom help me to create a quiz 
so that me and my fellow babysitters would be prepared for all types of babysitting situations. See, even at 12, I took my business very seriously. I marketed the business. I did things like going throughout my neighborhood and then I went with my friends throughout their neighborhoods and the business turned out to be pretty successful. We got clients, we even started getting regulars. It was a lot like the book. <laughs> and it was like those books helped me to manifest this. And it was so cool to experience. But by the time I got into high school, mm -mm, I was just too cool to be watching no little kids, child. <laughs> so here I was at 15 thinking, you know, I really love the freedom and the control that I had in running my business, even at 12, right? And that was such an exciting feeling. And it was starting to come back and starting to wash over me. And that's when I realized I ain't going to no college, child. <laughs> Granted, by the time I graduated high school, I had two years worth of college credits because I was in a program at my, at my high school called the university program. It was for kids who were super gifted intellectually and academically, which allowed you to earn some college credits while still in high school. Interestingly enough, my husband was in a university program too, but just at a different school. Isn't that awesome? That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> Yet another thing that we had in common that makes us so compatible, it's fun. Now, my family expected me to go to college because I mean, everybody had gone, but I ended up being the first one in the family to not go. And it was by choice, not by lack of ability. <laughs> so had I gone, I would have probably ended up in a profession that even back then paid a poop ton of money, which is also a perk that I love. <laughs> and if you want to know what that profession was, because it's not well known, let me know in the comments and I will spill the tea on that. I may even think of what an alternate universe type of life I'd be living had I gone that route. <laughs> anyway, I know that some folks may have been, you know, disappointed or thought I was flat out crazy, but I knew then what I wanted. I had it. I had the entrepreneurial bug and it was not going to let me go. So I went into business for myself as a hairstylist for many years after also being in business for myself as a swimsuit model and after running a dance studio with my sister a few years after she developed and started that. See, there are so many things that I absolutely love about being an entrepreneur, which I can't even put all into one video. So I'll be sure to give you tons of videos on the subject because I could talk about that subject all day. But one of the biggest things for me is it makes me feel like me. I am so much in my element and so in a zone and so at peace and so pumped up when I'm working my business, especially now that I have this elite elevation community and I hope that you've decided to be a part of it. After all, it is free to get in, so why not? Where, where are you? <laughs> See, this community makes me feel so alive because I get to use my life to help other women in their life. God has blessed me with a lot of experiences and a lot of lessons learned that have been so much help and inspiration to so many people already. And now that I'm focused on helping people in the four main areas that I've seen so much growth in myself, love, life, family, and finances, I can't wait to see all the breakthroughs that you will have. I put a lot of time and care and effort into creating these resources, which I know you can tell, right? Because <laughs> they're super cute. <laughs> they're very insightful and they're extremely valuable in helping you elevate to the next level of life in those areas. So yes, be sure to join the free community if you haven't already. And when you do, you'll also get the option to access some of my most popular resources for each of my four categories by getting a discount code delivered to you when you join the free community. The Best Life Bundle is valued at $357.96, but the discount code gives you access to all those resources for just seven bucks. See, I love living my best elevated life and I want to see as many other women achieve this as possible. So why not share some of the secrets behind how I did it and did it staying authentic? 
It's always wonderful to live in a more empowered, high level existence, right? So one of the ways that I produce this feeling and this reality for me has been through entrepreneurship. What is something that makes you feel the best version of yourself? Pop that in the comments because I would love to know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I had an amazing time here spending this moment with you and I am looking forward to many, many more.